What's up guys, it's Shanice, welcome back to my channel. You already know the deal, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button either on your left or on your right hand side. Don't really know where it's at. So today we're gonna do a fun video. This is the Boyfriend Does My Voiceover Challenge and I first seen it on Catherine Bajel's channel. Her and her boyfriend did it and it was so freaking hilarious. Me and my boyfriend actually watched it together and we were cracking up. I definitely recommend to check that video out. So I will link that down below. He was like, I wanna do this. So I'm like, all right, let's do it. So if you guys enjoy this video, if you laugh, if you chuckle, if you LOL, definitely give this video a thumbs up and we will do more like it. So I will see you guys all in the upcoming clip. Hi guys, it's Shanice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial for girls trying to hit the club or go out with your man on a date or something. And I'm going to try to keep it under as many ingredients as your grandmother's use on chili recipes. So I'm going to jump right into this thing. And what I have right now on my face is primer. And I'm just going to rub it in. It's kind of like the beginning stages of how I do my makeup. You know, you got to moisturize your face. You don't want to do makeup on a dry ass face. So I kind of get hype in the morning or when I'm preparing to go out or put my makeup on and stuff like that. So as you see right now, we have the foundation on my face. And... I try to kind of get foundation everywhere. I freaking love foundation. You know, you cannot have enough foundation. You know, I love it under my chin, on my neck, forehead. I, I really like it pretty much anywhere. So, shout out to foundation out there. Thank God for foundation. All right, so now I'm going to introduce you guys to Orange Color Corrector. You put this on all your insecure areas, and, you know, it'll have them on fleek in no time. And since I told you guys I love foundation, why not more? But accidentally this time, I just drowned it on my top lip. So I just had to like rush it back to all other areas. You know, you can never have too much foundation. All right, and now I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna get my Hey How Are Ya, How How Are Ya, Indian Pocahontas tribal thing going on. You know, getting ready for C. John Smith. And you know, put it all under my chin. Get the little goatee at the bottom. Let get that. You know, get it hype. Turn it up a little bit. You know, halfway there ladies you know so what this is called is a beauty blender and this helps me rub all the all the concealer in you know and it becomes a nice little layer on top of your skin okay all right guys so you can get this beauty blender spongy thingy from Sephora but they're gonna tax you for it but it's totally worth it so I Make sure I do my nose last because if you do your nose first and you do everything else last, it's kind of like rubbing a suede couch two different directions and it just, ugh, you know, so make sure you do your nose last, ladies. So right now I'm just taking this brushy thingy and I'm just, you know, blending it all in and, you know, making it still smooth and whatnot. So right here, guys, this is a contour brush. And basically it brings out those cheekbones and it just warrants you all that unwanted attention that you girls just like. And you know, it's good. So I just put this on my cheekbones. I do it under my cheekbones. And, all right, so I just put it under my cheekbones, really bring it out and make it highlights. And you know, I know I'm gonna have to use my peripheral vision today because my cheekbones are gonna be on fleek. And uh, right now my contour brush has a, another side to it and I just flip it over and just put the little rhino horns on my nose and I, I really just kind of leave the bridge alone and still let it shine from all the other stuff I put on it earlier. And right here is my plush brush and I'm just putting it on my cheeks and you know really making it look like my cheekbones are that high. And put it on both sides and just blend it in. Everything you do, you just have to have OCD with makeup. Oops. But yeah, you have to have OCD with makeup because what you do to one side, you have to do the other side. No favoritism here. So right here, I'm just, you know, highlighting it and making it shine. All right, so I'm just brushing this in. And next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And, you know, first I'm going to comb out the naps and the eyebrows. You know, you don't want your shit looking like taco beef. So, first I'm going to just make it a little darker. Gosh, it's so hot in here. I hate doing voiceovers because, like, the AC gets so hot and I do so many takes and it's just so hot and I can't cut it on until I'm finished. So, once I do my eyebrows, it's kind of like drawing birds on a white sheet of paper when you're a kid. So, 
Not that hard, just gotta go over and trace it and make sure they're all dark. Eyebrows on fleek, bitches. No. So guys, what I do is I just blend it in and darken my eyes a little bit. Next is a perfect trick for you guys to know. So what I do is I take my foundation, more foundation, yay, can't have enough. And I put the foundation around my eyes and it just makes my eyebrows stand out more. And this means so much to a girl, more than the edge up means to your favorite rapper. So once I do that and I get on there, I use my hair and I blend it all in. You ladies out there with unibrows, you could use this trick as soon as you remove the razor from between your eyes. So next I'm gonna take this eyebrow oiler thingy and it's basically just like an eyebrow brush. So, so next I'm taking this eyebrow, oops, messed up. So basically what I go for is the Egyptian eye of bra or horse or whatever it's called. And I try to give me that cat woman eyes and it really makes me look exotic. So I look forward and Try to do it on both eyes. It's so hard to do it on the other eye, but you know, once you start, there's no turning back, ladies. So don't ruin your night with your eyebrows. Your eyelash, excuse me. Right now, I just put my beauty marks. I make them darker because I embrace all my flaws. And so right now, I just put this stuff over my eye. It makes my eyes dark. It makes me look more exotic. You know, so I'm finishing off with this little misty spray, and it kind of like holds everything into place. I love it so much. It's just kind of like what guys do when they get the fade and they put alcohol. And so I take this lip liner and I put it on the outside of my lips. And what this does is sets it up for this red cherry burgundy finish. And I put this on my lips and it looks like I'm looking on feet, guys. What you think? You know, just put my little neck bracelets on. You know, I'm ready to hit the club. I'm ready to go out. I'm ready to go boo thing. So I hope you guys like my look, you know, just putting the last touches on. Yes. Yes. Don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel. Being nice to eat vlogs every Monday and Friday. Bye. So this is our one bedroom. Now we do have 14 floor plans in the lot. So this is one of many. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the appliances. Wine rack, I love one. Yeah, 